Welcome back to the Python tutorial, and today we're going to be asking the user to enter an amount of money and cents. And then we're going to output that amount using the fewest possible coins. And then we're going to use the correct singular and plural name, so it would be one quarter, two quarters, because two is plural. And the example would be 45 cents, so that would be one quarter and two dimes. So first, we're going to define a variable, we can just call it cents, and that's going to hold our user input. So we can say cents equals int input. And then we could actually like define like however many dollars we're gonna have. So we could say num dollars. Num dollars is gonna hold however many dollars we have equals to cents. And then we could do floor division by 100. Say they enter 100 cents. So cents divided by 100. If there's enough to make a dollar, this is like 100 cents. Num dollars would go up by one. But if they enter 105, we need another variable to hold like the remainder. And we could just call that cents left. We can set that equal to this, but instead of floor division, we can do modulus. So if they enter 105 cents for the input, num dollars would be one because that would be enough for, there would be 100 cents, which would be enough for one dollar. And then cents left would be five. And then we could keep going down. We could say, is there enough for a quarter? No. Is there enough for a dime? No. Is there enough for a nickel? There would be. And then num cents would be equal to zero, and then the program would stop. But let's just go to num quarter now. And this sign just means floor division. It means like it rounds it up to the nearest whole number. So we could say num quarter, and then we're going to set that equal to cents left. And then we could say that floor division by 25 because a quarter is 25 cents. And if there's more than for like a quarter, we could calculate the cents left. We could say cents left equals to cents left instead of like floor division we're going to do modulus again because the modulus it just calculates the actual remainder and let's make a variable we'll call it we'll just name it the same thing as like we have like num dollars we'll say num dimes num dimes is going to be equal to cents left floor division because we want a whole number 10 because a dime is 10 so if there's enough cents for a dime num dimes is going to go up by one but if there's more than enough we get cents left equals to itself modulus 10 because we want the remainder. And then we can make another variable with the same naming scheme called num nickel. And that's going to be equal to cents left floor division 5 because the nickel is 5. And then we can do cents left equals to itself oops, equal to itself instead of modulus we're going to do instead of like floor division we do modulus 5 because we want to calculate how many cents are left and that's all the math we're going to be using now we just have to use like an if statement to print if it's plural or singular but before we do that we have to see if like the user enters zero so we could say if cents equals equals zero and that means there's no change we can't there's no like coin to, do, to be zero so we could say we could print out no change but if it's not zero we could see we could say no we just have to calculate if, it, if it's like plural or singular so we, our first big variable would be num dollars if num dollars equals equals one that means there's only one dollar so if there's only one dollar we would have to print the actual variable itself because we're still going to print the variable and then a comma we print one dollar but if not it would be elf if elf if num dollar we say if num dollars greater than zero if it's greater than zero then we could print pretty much the same thing but the, with the correct actual like in this case it would be plural so we could say num dollars and then we're pretty much going to do that for all the variables. So I'm just literally going to copy and paste it and just change the variable name. So we did num dollars. Now we're going to do num quarters. If num quarters equals one, we're going to print it out. And then we're going to print out quarter. But if num quarters greater than zero, it's plural. And instead of quarter, we're going to print out quarters. Here we're just saying if it's plural or singular, it's nothing special. We did all our math up here. And then we're going to do the same thing for num dimes. 
if num dimes equals one, we're going to print out the actual variable itself with dime because it's singular. But if num dollars is greater than zero, that means there's multiple. We can print out num dimes. We can say dimes. Oops. Now we're going to do the same thing for nickels and pennies. We could say num nickel. If it's one, that means only one nickel. So we could say nickel. But if it's greater than zero, that means there's multiple. So we could say nickels. And then we're going to do it one more time for cents left. If cents is greater than one, we're going to say penny. But if cents left is greater than zero, if cents left equals one, we're just going to print one penny because there's only one of them. But if it's greater than zero, we're going to print out the poor version of pennies, which would be pennies. And it looks like we're done. All our math is right here. This is getting our user input. Here we're checking if cents equals zero, we really can't give out no change, so it would be no change. And then here we're just checking if it's poor or singular for dollars. If there's only one dollar, we're going to print dollar. But if there's multiple dollars, and then the same thing for quarters, dimes, nickels, and, and uh, actual pennies, which would be stored inside of cents left. So let's run this so we can make it a little bigger. Okay, let's do the example. The example is 45 cents which would be one quarter and then two dimes. Let's do one more. Let's do 200. That should just be two dollars. Let's do a hard one. Let's do 250. Two dollars, two quarters. That sounds about right. Do area code. 209. Two dollars would be two dollars. One nickel, four pennies, which would actually be 209. And let me go through the code a little slower so if you actually want to see it. Try not to copy. Try to actually understand why it works. And there it is. And if you liked and it helped you at all, just leave a like and subscribe.